Hello fellow pickers and stuff lovers. You are back here at Alisops with me, Chantal. And it's been a long time. I've missed you. But today we have a little time and we've just been to an estate sale. So I thought this would be a really good time to get together again and start chatting about vintage halls and halls in general. And so, yes, we decided to go this morning. We'd seen the sign for an estate sale. We weren't sure. We went and there was really nothing. Nothing except jewelry. So, you know, I didn't pick out tons, but I picked out good. Uh, so first of all, I was really happy to get a ring for myself because I love this design of open rings and bracelets and um, It's not marked or anything. I just loved the look in the same line of thinking I got this bracelet Which is also this open design that I find very airy very modern it has kind of movement in it and I like the dark purple stones um, and thought it was a very pretty design so I'll be keeping that. The cool thing though is that I got everything I got for $20. Uh, oh there's a couple of pieces I don't have with me. They're not uh, jewelry but I also bought a little perfume bottle and a bottle of um, uh, nail polish that's Yves Saint Laurent uh, so I should be able to resell that like the nail polish maybe 10 to 15 dollars that may include shipping so not a fabulous buy but certainly I paid 20 bucks for everything so it, it comes to about a dollar and some cents each uh, this is also something I'll be keeping I like this ring it has these tiny clear crystals in it in unexpected places and when I bought another jewelry haul um, there were the uh, matching earrings in it so when I saw this I thought oh already I have earrings that match this so I'll be keeping that now for the stuff that I will be reselling this bracelet I just thought was interesting um, again, it, it's very contemporary looking, very clean lines and, and pretty stones that are like topaz and red. Um, and it's got, of course, the elastic here like that. I think there's a tiny signature, but I can't make it out. I don't know if I'll be able to make it out. We shall see. This I got because it's a butterfly and there is a following there is a uh, popularity with butterflies so I think that's going to help it I also thought that the crystals used um, in this design were very attractive because there are different colors different sizes and they're very clear they have a, a beautiful quality to them so much so that at first I thought they were Swarovski but I can't see any signature at all so I just think it's a good quality interesting piece this is an aurora borealis necklace a choker from the 60s I would say from the the style and uh, what I've had so far I like the nice dangle on the end of the choker none of the stones are missing I thought, why not? You know, for about a dollar a piece, yeah, I'll take that. I should be able to do 12, 15, maybe a little more. Another vintage necklace. When I started asking them, I'd, I'd gotten a few pieces in my hand and said, well, like, what am I looking at? How much would you want for this? And they said $5, including... Uh, a perfume I thought okay <laughs> you know the prices are good enough that now I'm just gonna start getting stuff even if it's not worth that much it'll be worth my time and so 
This, again, I would say I'll get, you know, 10 to 16. These used to be worth more, and certainly I think they should be worth more because it's vintage. I love the design. I love that it's, it's almost regal looking. It's elegant. It's not over the top. The lovely um, turquoise rhinestones are, are pretty special too, so... But, you know, that's okay. That's okay. These I'm tempted to keep. I will see. They're just a grouping of bangles. It's all plastic beads, but again, the design is very nice. It's almost like Etruscan type or um, old, almost Egyptian or... It, it has a lovely style and the bangles are really large so that they really dangle, you know, I, <laughs> I think they're fun. I got this because I think the gem is amazing. I love the shape of that gem. It's, again, it, it just reminds me of Movies I would watch when I was a kid, you know, and and they would be movies from the 50s and uh, Elizabeth Taylor would be covered in gems as she portrayed a, an Egyptian queen or something like that. And, you know, I just go, oh my gosh, these gems. And now I get to handle them. Um, certainly it's something I would wear myself. I, I love the way it's set. And, you know, it's just a glass stone. But I don't think it's signed at all. I don't know, you know. I'd love for that to be worth like $20, but I'll take $15 if, if it has to be. Um, another sweet little bracelet. Uh, I liked it because of the, the clarity of the stones. Again, I don't know if they're cubic zirconia, maybe, or... I don't think they're crystal or just glass, but I thought it looks very elegant and lovely. Uh, it's not signed, it's not silver or anything like that. This is also something that is a bit... The gold tone, the gold tone is a bit worn around the edges, so eh. <laughs> we'll see. But I love that the leather has been treated in such a way that it's iridescent, like iridescent paint was used. Um, it's a clamper bracelet. It has style. I will try it. We'll, we'll see if it's too worn to attract someone's attention, but it's okay if I don't get a lot from it. Uh, we move into the sphere where you know, after I'd been told the prices were quite reasonable, I started checking, well, is there anything that's that's a bit better or a bit, you know, something that's signed? Because, well, I won't necessarily check for that right away because I'm going, well, let's start off to see if this is reasonably priced and if it's worth my checking, because I know in some places they have all the silver and gold and whatever separated and it's like 20 bucks a piece or something. I'm like, mm, not interested in that. Um, but this, for example, has a little tag. Um, the, uh, the name on it is Magnolia and it's also stamped 925 for silver. And then this was stamped 925 as well. And the pendant is this most beautiful aqua blue iridescent, you know, we think it might be opals or else tanzanite, something. Um, I think this is quite nice and it's obviously got a, just a little bit more value because it's silver and those are all good keywords to put into um, a search. So I was happy with that thrown in in the $20 I paid for everything. Nice old bracelet. Uh, tiny, must have been for a child. Really tiny. And um, 
very lovely blue stone. Just has character and charm. This was also some, something I picked up because it's marked 925, so it's silver chain and silver um, pendant on it as well. It's got a heart theme. I would imagine some people would be interested in that. I really don't know how much we'll make on, on some of these. That may be, you know, $15. Um, I looked through, they had quite a few necklaces, but a lot of them were very contemporary and obviously were not signed. So I thought, unless there's a reason for me to think this is really beautiful quality or it's very distinctive, I haven't seen that design before or something, I'm not going to go there because I'll end up spending $50 to make like 60 that does not have that much triumph in it, so no. Um, but I saw this and I thought, yes, this is a bit more wow than some of the other things that were there. It was quite stupendous. And I turned it over and saw that there was a signature. I couldn't read it. I was trying to not take forever. And I thought, well, I like it. I, not I like it as in it's my own taste. I wouldn't wear that. Um, it's a bit too blocky for me, um, but I can see why someone would think this is good quality. It's got a style I like. So I thought, yeah, okay, we'll, we'll take a look at this. So I got it in that $20 lot. Turns out, <laughs> I hadn't even noticed, it's a Christian Dior necklace. It's a little bit vintage, and the signature, of course, inside is Christian Dior. Uh, so I did some research. I found one that sold for $66 recently, the exact same thing. So I was pleased. And then this happened. At the end of my rummaging, I saw this Star of David, gold color. I'm thinking, well, I've got all this other stuff, might as well get that because on, I don't know if it's on this side, no, it's on the other side. You probably won't be able to see it, but anyways, on one of the sides, um, I thought I saw a 14 carat. And I thought, well, if it isn't, then it's silver or something. It's a nice design and um, I took it home with the rest. Well, it turns out, you know what? It really is 14 karat gold. And um, that was okay. Uh, similar ones uh, we've seen um, with the, the same, of the same size, the same uh, weight, uh, sell for over $100. So I was stupefied and amazed and really pleased. And really, it's just a, a nice, thing that happens when you find some better pieces and that people can't be bothered. You know, they were obviously, I don't know, they they were happy to sell their stuff today. They didn't go, oh, well, let me see that one. I would just show them in my hand like this is what I've got. They didn't ask me how many pieces or obviously it did not really matter to them. If not, I'm sure they would have sorted their stuff out and said, well, this is more expensive, whatever. I still would have bought it even if they told me it was like 10 bucks for that pendant, you know. So um, that was great because everybody was happy with the prices. I didn't have to try and do super bargains and they weren't disgruntled. They were really happy. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy it. You know, I'm sorry. Uh, and so, <laughs> so that was great. It was such a fun morning. And my husband also bought a brawn razor. Um, and uh, he paid 20. Mm, we're thinking it could be worth maybe 50, maybe 60. It came with chargers and all sorts of wonderful stuff like that and a cleaner system. So that's good too. It adds to the pile very beautifully. And then aside from that, I thought we would go to an item I picked up not too long ago, which is a beaker. 
that you would use for chemistry. And it's also got a pipette that is um, graduated so that you can um, inhale and then hold an amount of liquid that you're going to release into whatever concoction you're making. And this reminded me that sometimes, and maybe this has happened to you, uh, people will buy our stuff on eBay, on Etsy, for props on TV shows. We've had a few, which is really cool, although I've never seen it on television. But, um, And I thought, yes, that's a really good thing to keep in mind, that sometimes people will buy things from us for home decor or for a prop, um, you know, in some sort of movie, TV thing they're doing. And that even though sometimes to us that wouldn't be a prop, like, you know, what am I going to do with this? If I have a home decor where I'm going, you know, I want that corner to have an air of mystery and, and mad scientist, and, you know, I'm going to put some beakers and, and some other type of uh, decanters that can look a little bit sinister and you know that's something you can do you can have it maybe on your small bar for an aura of oh I can mix a drink in here but it's really a dangerous chemical and then this reminded me that people do love themes sometimes like that um, to set that up in their home to have on their dresser, to bring a little imagination to their everyday life. And I thought, that is something interesting. If you people out there, fellow pickers and stuff lovers, are interested in an audio drama, I have one to share with you. It's an audio drama that has a lot of imagination, a psychological thriller, if you will, that I've really, really enjoyed. And it links the world of Sherlock Holmes with that of a brilliant woman mathematician who is his arch enemy's sister. So she's Jim Moriarty's sister. And um, her path meets Sherlock Holmes. And there becomes, there begins a complicated passion. Um, the type of passion that only comes to two people who know that their association is dangerous and that they really shouldn't be together. And I thought, how wonderful a world is that? If you are into mystery, intrigue, passion, if you love some imagination of your, in your everyday life, that's something that you may not be aware of, but it's an audio drama of 13 episodes. And um, it is also something that um, is written by someone who's very dear to me. Um, and just to let you know, if you are interested in having a listen for free, it is at genius-podcast.com. Genius-podcast.com. I really recommend it. You know, I'm not big on recommending things, but certainly is something that I wholeheartedly got into without any reservation. So if you're in that slightly vintage mood, mood for complicated adventures that take you outside of yourself and somehow also remind you of how complicated our life can be, all, although no one attests to it, this is a good one. So genius-podcast.com, 
if you want to have a listen to this audio drama. Um, and in the meantime, I'm really happy to have shown you this haul. There will be more to come soon. So looking forward to those garage sales. And I bet you are as well. So you go out there, find whatever you can. And if someone wants to, to sell you, um, you know, some gold for a buck, uh, just for a pendant, you go for it. Uh, I didn't have to tell you that. Have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.